You all know how to stream content from the web, but what about from your own desktop or laptop? That's where Unity comes in. So before I start, this is a paid review, but I'll still be reviewing it in the same way that I do everything else, so you don't need to worry about that. And with that out of the way, let's get started. So this is a free app that is available on Windows and Mac on the desktop and laptop side and is available on iOS with Android said to be coming soon. Now I do mainly use Android while I'm out of the house because I rely on my OnePlus One. So while I was in the house, I was mainly on the same network with my iPad. So most of the things I tried out were on the same network. But I did move on to my mobile cellular network and just make a personal hotspot and try it through that. But from what I've seen, it works pretty well. There's no differences in what you can get to, whether you were going over the local network or over the internet. I did have to wait for files to load a bit when connecting over the internet, but that is obviously dependent on your network strength. If you're doing this over another fibre home network, you shouldn't have any issues at all. Now obviously before you do this, you have to have the app set up on your devices, and I'm going to have a separate video coming out very very soon, showing you how to set it up on your devices, so stay tuned for that. But bear in mind for now that you need to have it set up on both an iOS device and either a Mac or PC for this to work. And the links for these apps are all down below. You can set this up on multiple Macs or PCs and all of their content will be shown together in the app. So once you have this all set up, there will be a bit of wait depending on how many files Unity has to go through in your computer. I did find that this app uses a lot of CPU usage on its first scan, but after the first scan is over and done with, it was totally fine. I did hear that they did this intentionally to make the scan finish as quickly as possible, but I would have really appreciated if there was an option to have it go a little bit slower, but use up less CPU because it did make other things on the computer go a bit slow. And it did mean that my computer fans were going pretty much at full speed non-stop during the entire scan. From here you can go ahead and see all of your files based on these categories. For some categories there is also a further split. For videos you can even see videos from your GoPro. Unfortunately, I couldn't test this out because I don't personally own a GoPro. When you select a category, you can then tap a file to stream it, or can tap the share button at the bottom to share or download it. When sharing files, you can share them over Facebook or by email. They are then required to install Unity to see the files or link the email to their existing account. They also have a week to view the file. To see what you are sharing or what other people are sharing with you, swipe from the side and head into shared. Heading back to the files, they all open up as you would expect them to do. You can then go and share them natively between apps individually, as long as they are not videos or songs. And do things like printing and copying them to other apps, which is great. You can also sort your files either ascending or descending based on their place in the alphabet, or the date they were made, and can show folders first, only show downloaded files, and only show available files, or files from computers that are currently on and connected to the internet. Just as a little note, this still works if your computer has gone to sleep by itself, but it doesn't work if you close the laptop's lid. You can also search for files by swiping to the left and tapping search. This is a pretty basic search though, and you aren't going to be able to sort the files in any way, but then if you know the name of what you were looking for, this does a fine job at finding it. Now moving on to music and video. Starting off with music specifically, this wouldn't be something that I'd personally use for music as I already use Google Play Music. But there's a few things about this that I wanted to mention. Firstly, the streaming works perfectly fine and you're able to scrub just fine. But one thing that is very annoying is that it doesn't add any other songs to the play queue. And there doesn't appear to be any way to do this unless you're playing an album. You will also be seeing a low quality version of the album art. And there isn't any sort of music player at the bottom as you see in Spotify and Apple Music. Although it does bring in music from iTunes and it does sort out the music into these categories. So it isn't all bad in the music category. Onto video, they work pretty well most of the time, but once they're all loaded and ready, they do play pretty well throughout. You can scrub forward or backwards, and it should skip to that point after a few seconds, but I found that this didn't always work. You can also see subtitles if your video has them. And that is pretty much it for the mobile app. For the desktop app, you can pretty much just install and leave the app. But if you do want to look into the desktop app, you can also set Photos and Lightroom as locations to stream from, and you can also add additional locations or remove locations. Settings shows you registered devices, stuff for quitting and startup, and a few links. And it's pretty much the same story on Windows. But that's about it for the app. Overall, it's a great app that lets you access all of your files from all of your devices in one place. 
and it isn't quite iCloud because your stuff isn't actually being moved from your other Apple devices onto your iPad and it isn't quite Dropbox or OneDrive because stuff isn't being stored away from your computer, it's staying on the computer. It's kind of a great blend between both of them and it kind of sits in the middle for me. It basically gives you the freedom of being able to access your files anywhere as long as you leave your devices on while not forcing you to pay out on any subscriptions or extra hardware. I do really look forward to seeing what the future advancements for Unity will be and we'll definitely be picking it up when it comes to Android. I would also love to see it do desktop to desktop or desktop to mobile if that is something that is actually going to be possible. So thank you for watching this video and thank you to Unity for supporting this video. If you like this video be sure to give it a like, be sure to comment down below what your thoughts are on Unity and whether you're going to be getting it and be sure to subscribe to see other videos like this one. So I'll see you all in the next video, bye.